When President Nana Adodan Kwakufado announced Martin Alamisi Benz Kaiser Amido as his special prosecutor nominee, the nation went agog. There was excitement over the job that would be done uh, performed by the former Attorney General and the man who called himself the Chief Vigilante. In the subsequent days, he went through vetting in Parliament and was sworn in by the President as Ghana's first special prosecutor. In the next few weeks, issues of accommodation would arise. The Office of Special Prosecutor identified a three-story building around the press center in Accra for use. Over a number of months, this particular building had gone through lots of structural adjustments. But over the period, information reached by guarded by City News suggested that that project was abandoned. The Special Prosecutor subsequently identified the 10-story Get Fund building, which is a sprawling, huge edifice in the heart of Accra near the Parliament House for use. That building was supposed to be occupied by the Get Fund. Subsequent to that, the President ordered for the building to be given to the Office of Special Prosecutor for use. It's been several months since the announcement was made, but nothing has happened. At least the Special Prosecutor has not moved in. The building itself is near the yet-to-be-built National Cathedral and did amidst the demolition by the Whiskers. It shares a boundary with Parliament House. The background of the compound looks very serene, beautiful car park. Lights have been properly fitted and minor works are ongoing as sand and gravel and stones can be seen at the underground. Water has been connected, electricity has been connected and the two standby generators would be powering the facility in the event of a blackout. As the sign indicates, I've come to the first floor. Um, well, it's been pretty short, but I'm sure by the time I get to the 10th floor, I may start punting. Quick look around, beautifully tiled floor. Again, I still have my three um, lifts unattended and unopened. I've been advised they do not work. There's a lone CCTV camera, which looks a bit old, uh, though, well, too big, uh, modern day buildings, but that's just my personal view on that particular issue. There's a corridor to my left, uh, which curves, and then there's another to my right. There's a huge door opening to the corridor to my right. I'm going to go through and see what is there. All right, this is a huge door opens into a huge room, uh, which is pretty much like a football pitch. Very wide, not demarcated in any way, not given any particular furniture except the door. Transparent, you can see the outside from here. And there's a very beautiful view of the car park. Now, based on interaction with the workers here, I'm assured that uh, it is a similar structure that is on all floors, except the seventh and eighth floor, which I'm told was previously going to be occupied by the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, before this building was handed over uh, to the Office of Special Prosecutor. Let's go to the tenth floor, which is the last floor of this particular building, shall we? Quick, quick issues that we have identified that have led to the uh, non-completion of this building. First, uh, the lift has been talked about. It's not functioning, so if you're working in this building and you wanted to use the, go to the, any floor, you'd have to walk and pant and sweat like I'm sweating. There is an issue with air conditioning, and is the reason again I'm sweating. The air conditioning, I'm advised by people working on this building, is not completed yet as we speak. Now, there's a third and very important issue, which has to do with an engineering defect that is being fixed. Um, now, there is a gap that is between the building which has to be sealed of a sort. Now, this gap, according to engineers working on the building and technicians who are operating on this building and the contractors, would have to be fixed. Else, now, it is going to create a gaping hole, which hole is going to cause so much trouble. When it rains from the top floor, and I'm going to quickly just show you that gap, uh, rain may be entering the building through that structure. Let's have a look. Now, the idea is that 
this building, according to engineers, um, it's almost like two separate blocks that have been put together. There is a boundary which is just on this line and it runs through the wall all the way to the top and this stretches to this other side and divides the building into halves. Now, this is what engineers are busily working on. If you can look at the ground, uh, you'd notice that um, they're having to uh, do some works that they are fixing to close up the gap between the two buildings. Indeed, there was a door at this side to join the two buildings. That door has been removed for the work to continue. So this is a key infrastructural defect that has been worked on. Contractors assure me this will be completed by mid-February. I am Omar Sandamadu reporting for City TV.